Welcome diecasters to another diecast video and in this one we're gonna look at Caroline all right so first before we even go to her skills let's look at her skins so we have her basic looks like that's the eighth that's the uh, um, hero skill too <laughs> That's the adding the extra shots from the pirate shelling. I think the <coughs> <coughs> Abyss Caroline. The pirate the pirate Caroline does look pretty nice. I, I was like, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. That, that 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 skill too like yeah. i was like Whoa, what what that is so what a playful character that ends up being really aggressive huh but i like her kit i just think um let's go to her story i wonder if grahan comes in here huh the wind pushing our sails pirates wind the waves pushing our ship pirates waves you have blocked our ship, so let's talk pirate. For us, it's always first. Cannon, pang, pang. Only after shooting, we start talking AA. Let's hope your head is still in place next time. Am I supposed to sing this? <laughs> like, am I supposed to be like, For us, it's always first. Cannon, then talk pang, pang. Like, is this supposed to be... <laughs> No matter you're, you're right or wrong, first cannon, then talk, pang, pang. Chapter 39 of the Val of Valiant Pirates Minotauri Songbooks. First cannon, then talk. True. So we got a little bit of information there, but I wish there would have been a little bit more lore on her. <laughs> but okay. <laughs> so let's look at it. Let's look at her. So I, I definitely got her to hero grade 5, right? The max grade you can get her. Um, I didn't get, I haven't leveled up. I leveled up her, her HP a little bit because she's not really that much of an AP character. You want, you, you want with her, you want to sort of like, you want to play mid to late game with this character. It's kind of hard to, to rush <clears throat> this character because th her, let's go through his kit. So her first kit is uh, first uh, skill hero skill is called pirate tax collection upon a successful attack, right? Basically, if you attack the opponent. You will receive 30, 50 to 90 percent of the target's gold as pirate tax. Um, pretty much based on their gold that they have at the moment, you're going to get a specific amount based on how much you've leveled up the skill. Pirate ship selling. So at the end of your turn, this is a very unique skill in the game, and, it, and it's it's good and bad. If an enemy is in the impose, uh, opposite line, right? So you know how it's a box. So if you're here and they're here, that's when it activates at the end of your turn. So if after you've rolled your dice card, and then if you've met the qualification <clears throat> of being on the opposite line, either like this or like this or like this, then it'll, it'll go off. You'll fire one cannon with damage equal to 30, 40, 50% of your AP. So I thought like, dang, I got to have a lot of AP because I want this thing to nuke, right? But it's not about the nuking. It's if you have more gold than the enemy, you'll get an, one extra cannon per 20 difference, max four cannons. That's a lot of cannons, by the way. But what I've noticed is that they don't hit the same spot. They hit different spots from, from what I played. Um, and it's random. So you could be like, yay, I've done all this qualification to I've like attacked him right with the a with the hero skill one. I've stole some gold and then I land afterwards. <clears throat> I've landed afterwards on an opposite line and then let me get that f that cannon off and I've maxed this at like 40, 50 percent, but the cannon doesn't hit. So I'm like, oh, oh it's so troll. Like you put, you work so hard to get this to go off, and you don't hit. But then, of course, cannonade her third skill. She adds one, two, three shots to pirate shelling. So even though this is four cannon max, 
you can add multiple shots which this is insane but you need to level her up fast which means this this is one of those characters that you need to be level five like you need to have a hero five <clears throat> caroline if you want to like like superly catch this up and get to like mid and late game faster because if you have to level up again to get the pirate shelling then to get the cannonade like at level three it's just it takes too long um but there's different ways to play this hero honestly so let me show you how i play her uh i could just kick on her i guess i could have just went to yeah i could have went to battle <clears throat> so in terms of dice card decks you could play this is this is one that i want i would like to play but unfortunately i can't um you have to think when we look at her skills right her hero skills her first one is about taking gold his second one is rng based based on the gold that you've taken from your opponent and how much you have and then her third is basically powering up her hero skill too so when we think of a dice deck man i love this music by the way this music's nice <laughs> okay so when we think of her hero skill two of being random you have to be able to control their spacing like okay i'm a, i mean how do i get on the opposite line of my opponent all the time you're not gonna you're not gonna be able to do this this game has so much rng and they've added so many different cards now which is nice but they've also added a lot of rng cards that kind of just it makes it so hard in my opinion so instead of trying to fight against rng which we already know this game has a lot of it how about make something more um like a little bit more not as random like basically being able to make it work consistently right so i thought okay i need to control my opponent's gold but can i control everything else about my opponent can i control their movement can I control their spacing? Can I control their um, their ability to to actually have turns? And I thought, man, this character has to have a lot of CC to do that. Um, and I don't have training. <laughs> I really wish I had training. I think training uh, is in a very important, um, like quick training uh, would be really good on her. You want to get you want to get levels as fast as possible. That's how it seems for me. That's how it seems to me, right? Because the faster you can get those skills, the faster you can get to your base, like, right? Like in terms of leveling up, like return, uh, then you get training, quick training, right? And this is this is a combo card, by the way. But you can only acquire this in, in battle, right? So you can you have to use the, the regular training. Um, where's, where's regular training? I don't see it. <clears throat> Unless, do I already have the card? And I'm just looking down here like an idiot? <laughs> oh, God. No, I don't see it. Hmm. That's weird. Hold on. Let me look at the cost. Training was like a two co two to three cost, wasn't it? Or did, they, or did they take it out and they put quick training? There it is. So, it's a one cost... Uh, you know, special card that you can you it's not combo. Um, you have to get extra up, so it's like, mm, I, I still think it's really worth because it's only a one cost card. If it was a two card card cost card, yeah, then then you'd be like, oof, <laughs> like honestly. So how did I not see it last time? It, I saw I, I scrolled down to one. Oh, it's all the way at the bottom, like all the way at the bottom. And they have lowest gold too. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. So I was thinking, I was thinking like, uh, return, training, right? Uh, which would be four, three, which is seven. Shop, so you could buy a chance of getting more cards. Um, so it would be shop, training, so you're a total of uh, eight now, right? Four and three, seven, one and eight, and you still have one. Um, I honestly think either shuffle or being able to control their movement like lock odds lock evens would be really powerful uh, but most likely shuffle in my opinion so you'd have max cards right here right the training uh, return training shop shuffle and then you could either go get away or 
you could go like uh, odds. I probably would say getaway. <laughs> Honestly, it's such a good card uh, for zero, right? But that's if you're going like in like level uh, and getting up levels. If you want to get levels as fast as possible, and of course you're gonna buy stuff that will give you more levels as well, or cards. If you could buy yourself another return, or you could buy yourself a swap and get yourself to your base faster, stuff like that. Now, the way I'm playing her, <clears throat> or another optional way to play her, of course, is right, uh, pure pure damage. Like you use the tent, use the the tent base, and you're gonna get. Uh, if you don't have icy blade, if you were lucky to already get it from the previous season, icy blade plus plus gold attack is nine attack. I mean nine deck cost. Which means you have no other cards, but you're gonna max your uh, hero skill one, so you're always stealing their gold, and and you're always gonna be higher than them. You don't have to, you know, you don't have to go like this and make a whole gold deck like this and just like spend all your resources just on golds. You it might seem really good, but what ends up happening is you have a whole bunch of like cards in your hand, like oh I get gold, oh I get gold, but it's not giving you any tempo. Like, it's only giving you the gold tempo, but you're not getting anything, any, anything out of it. If she had, like, a hero skill passive that said if you have gold at the end of your turn, you you do something. Like, your, your, you, your hero power AP goes up plus one. If it was like that, it would synergize with her, ace, her hero skill two, and it would make more sense. But since she doesn't do that, I, I tried doing a deck like that <clears throat> where it's all just based on... I, th I thought, okay, what about just going all attack... And stealing <clears throat> using gold base and or or the tent base and then having two attack cards in your in your deck so that when you have a lot of um, when you have a lot of gold you can actually just land on one attack you can land on an attack flag and the next two turns you just stay in the same spot attacking them and you, you could hit them for like 15 15 15 like mid to late game and boom they have no gold they're they're getting hit for like truckloads right but unfortunately, I don't have the this one, the IC blade. So, uh, or I haven't got that new one. There's a new cool. Uh, it's called Half Sword, right? But you can only acquire it in battles. So I was like, oh, imagine if we can actually craft that, right? We could have like a half sword of this. Uh, but the deck that I'm playing, I thought, okay, I gotta control my opponent so they can't move, right? I thought, stun. I need to level up. I need to be higher gold than my opponent. Tr return, which is why return so strong. Uh, I need to be able to swap their places so I can control where they're moving, right? And I thought, damn, I'm already I'm already at nine cards, but how else can I make sure that I'm 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 at different spaces? I thought, okay, maybe random, but that's too random. I thought, okay, maybe low, but then you're not moving far enough. Even you could land on the portal, and I hate landing on the portal because then if you go first and you land on the portal in your first move, it just changes all the tempo because they jail you and you're and then if you don't have anything like a a getaway. Right, you get screwed. So yeah, we're putting get away because we can't get screwed. The whole point of this whole deck is that we don't want to be controlled, but we want to control them. Um, and then we also don't want to use high because there's a chance of landing six. So you don't want six. These two, you either want low, odd, or random. And when I think to myself, I don't want random, so either it's low or odd. I want to be moving. <clears throat> In my opinion, I'd want odds because you want to move. Most players are going to be moving at a at a at a three to, to like three four five six number. No one's going to really roll one and two unless they have to. So having odds allows you to like create like create a balance in between. And <clears throat> a lot of people, some people use lock odd, but a lot of people use lock evens as well because you want to land on your base, which requires a six. If you're on like a portal or if you're getting close to it, so. This is why another reason why I use lock, uh, I use odds because not I don't see that many people. Well, when I play, I don't see a lot of people using uh, lock odd. I thought of putting lock odd right, which would be one, but I don't have enough deck card cost. You know, I thought something like this: like if we take away the uh, stun, right? I'm using a, d a specific base. If we use, if we go like this, uh, uh, let's take out. Um, if we go like this, we could super combo like crazy. Like you could combo, use another card combo but the problem with this is you run out of cards so i thought okay we need like a shuffle or you'd need like um or you need like a draw dice right if you're doing this ver variation 
The only reason why I'm going so specific with this hero in terms of deck building is because she is very... She's... Like, she had does have multiple ways, but I feel like, man, <laughs> it's really... <laughs> is really situational this character is a very situational character now a lot of characters are rng based but she is <laughs> heavy so what i had to do was i thought okay what bases can i do to control i thought okay glacial tower a breeze, breezy bastion because you can if you're moving them to your base it's not even about jailing them it's about their positioning because you want it to be on the opposite line so you can think ahead and do stuff like this um, Glacial Tower is another good one because you can slow them and she doesn't have anything about slowing or trapping like Sneed or Ivy. So this allows you to get that damage off if they roll and it also slows them down and like can free it, it, it's so good. It makes me wish I had this maxed already. Um, but another good one of course, uh, sorry, is uh, Coffin. We all know it's toxic but it's very powerful because it does 9 damage but it keeps them at a specific area in the game which is your base so you have to only put yourself where their base is not like before you usually want to be after it so that way when they get when they actually get freed from jail you're on the opposite line so it, it's, it's things like that I, I use that I mean a lot of people might argue maybe like for long fights you might want to go eternal elm you might want to go cathedral I with this deck because it's so controlly I'm just gonna go coffin and she doesn't have since I I was playing against people and I noticed man I I'm not getting the the value off the hero skill two as much until the hero skill three gets maxed or I have insane like amount of gold versus my opponent so <clears throat> I'm gonna go with this we're gonna try out one battle or two battles actually Mm -mm -mm. It's really early in the morning. I think it's like uh, 10, I think. Let me see. Yeah, it's 10, 10 o'clock a.m. <laughs> 10 o'clock a.m. <laughs> that doesn't sound as cool as... Big Apple, 3 a.m. It doesn't sound as cool. <laughs> oh my gosh, I got double highs. Can you believe? And I don't use high on my deck. I guess I must be really high. <laughs> oh boy, yes, we got the one that I wanted. All right, we got power attack. Nice. Uh, in this situation, yeah, we're gonna go for the the high here. <clears throat> if we were using a certain certain type of base that wants us to land on our, our base, we we return back. But we don't really want to land on coffin. We want them to land on coffin. I thought tent would be good because of the the pirate shelling, um, AP scaling because if you base off your AP, but it's it's yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> uh man, this is wow. The cards that I'm getting are just totally, insanely RNG here. We have getaway, so it's totally fine if we're in front of them or behind them. If they try to land on us, we can always just get away. So there's another reason why. But as you can see how hard it is for me to um, get on the opposite line <laughs> so far. But it's it, it lets you kind of do two things at once. If you're... On the opposite line, you're getting damage or chance at damage. But if you're not and you're near them, they're scared because they, you have coffin. So you have multiple avenues. Um, yikes. Summon trap? Uh, I don't even know what's the best move here. Yeah, I'm going to go this way because there's two flags over here. But like I said, this, this hero... Um, like, you want to level up a lot, but as you can see, I haven't been able to level up. Oh, wow. Okay, nice. <laughs> can I get a six now? <laughs> can I get a six now? Nope.
Mm. We're gonna try something here. So he's not on the opposite line here, right? But if I return... The lines are this, right? But would it count would it count this spacing? I'm curious. So it doesn't count the spacing on, on from base to base, but he goes back one. Which means I would have to go back one. Whatever the way they're facing their character faces, it's funny how it goes that way. You would think it would go this way, but I had to I had to use the well. No, I could have used the dice card instead of using that. Wow. <laughs> nice. Actually, that's not that bad. We don't want to move that far. Wow. <laughs> I actually rolled a five. Ooh, we got a hunter card. Okay. Yikes. Can I land a four? That'd be amazing. Can I get a four? Hey, we got a four. All right, so we hit them. We stealing some gold. Now they try to get out. Nope. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna do two, four, six because I could actually land on the monster here and actually kill it instantly with the hunter card. Which I just did. Uh, I mean, yeah. We haven't even been able to show off the other skill. Yikes. I kind of screwed my... Ooh, times... What? Uh, let's just steal all their gold. <laughs> all their gold. <laughs> oh, man. So he gets a five. He gets out lands it's my turn I'm gonna stun him uh, time sickle oh my god I was hoping I was hoping to land a one or two <sighs> now I gotta hope for a one or two Oh boy, okay. He has a six? Are you serious? Wow, okay. So see see what I'm saying? Like it's it's kinda hard. It was close. It was close there. Um just RNG. But in terms of getting in terms of getting onto the line, it's so hard. Hey, what did I get? Oh okay. Battle once. All right, we'll try again. This is why I think Icy Road's really cool. Um, like using the 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 ice ba the glacial tower base. Coffin's pretty strong too, as you saw. <laughs> he got lucky on that cycle because if he not, he would have died. The time cycle would have killed him afterwards. All right, Greyhand. Well, this is good against Greyhand because we don't we don't want him gaining crazy shields. So, hmm, who do I think counters her? 
I think long extended fights like Greyhand or like mm, Trixie with Elmbay. Yeah, like people who want to like they don't play for the they don't Zerg. See, so look at that. I'm on the opposite line and look where it hit. It hit the book, but I get nothing for that, right? See, it doesn't destroy the book, so he's he. It doesn't like it destroys it, so he can't use it. It's still there. I don't know. It just seems weird. Um. I thought you would think like I'm here, it would shoot here like this or shoot a straight across, but it's totally random. I think they they shouldn't make it totally random like that. Because then, because then you can't outplay your opponent. It's just like, hey, I finally got on the opposite line. Wait, it's random. I don't know. But once you get all her skills maxed, like, fast, it's nutty. It's nutty. Um, yeah. He doesn't have a lot of gold right now, so I doubt he's going to roll a one. Wow. What are the chances? <laughs> what are the chances? Um, I'm actually thinking of ro of going like this. Because I want to get that attack flag. Yes. Boom. Steal his gold. I also have an odd. Which means I can land on another attack flag. Oh my god. Oh my god. Should I get greedy and high attack? There's no way he can land on me, right? There's no way. He could stun me though. Uh, I don't know. I didn't see what his deck he was using. What was... Oh, I didn't see what he was using. This is why it's important. You're supposed to look at your opponent's cards. Oh, my God. A 1, 3, or 5. All of them were perfect. Especially a 5. I didn't even notice that. Wow. Nice. Oh, but he has a, he has a key, though. Now he can jail me with a 6. But he has a 1. Okay. Woo. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, we're going to stun him. Like I said, we want to keep him on the opposite line, right? So we're going to go rando here and hope that we go don't get a 6. Nice. Now he's still stunned, and we can get on the opposite line. See? So this is gonna we have more gold uh we don't oh my gosh, how do we have not more gold in our point? See? <laughs> it didn't hit him. <laughs> so that's three shots. That's three shots already that didn't hit him. Okay? We're going to see how many in this match. Well maybe we can jail him again. We jailed him again, and this is why I use Coffin on her. <laughs> because it, it keeps the opponent always being on this line. All I have to do is always be on this line. Please don't give me a, a one, and I got a one. Wow. Come on. <laughs> Lol. All right. You're going to take nine damage unless you get a five. Wow. This, this gray has key. He gets instant out. Wow. Wow. Luck is on his side. <laughs> uh, and he's leveling up too. Nice. Congratulations. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can I get something? Uh, well, I don't want to move there. I'm going to get screwed either way. Yeah, let's just get this. So this is why, like, instead of leveling up the cannonade, which gave me an extra, it sometimes it's just better to get more gold in your opponent. So they have zero gold, and you get more can you'll get more off of this. So it just, but it's RNG. You don't know if they're going to be landing on their base or if they're going to be landing once again. Okay, we sh we sh we're not on opposite now. Opposite would be over here, right? Um, in this situation, I could think, okay, I could draw two dice, and one of those dice could let me go one, two, three, four. 
Let's see what happens. Okay, so I got a six. So I can actually land on him again. Now, don't be mad. Don't be mad. <laughs> uh, in this situation, we're not going to use a one or a two. We could go rando. Instead, we're just going to use high attack and wait to see what we draw next. If he lands on a 5 again, that's insane. Because then he'll be able to, to attack me. Okay, so he's going to take 9 pure damage. Oh, look, we got evens. Evens is way better than all the stuff we have. Um, we, You know, we could big brain. We could big brain. I doubt he's going to roll a 1. Yeah, let's go return. We're going to get more uh, a the hero skill 1. So we can get more gold when we attack him. So he didn't get a 1 here, which is amazing. He got a 4, which he's going to lose 9 health. What we're going to do is now that he didn't get out, we're going to roll on the book. The amazing book. If we had a 5, we'd roll on a 5. But we'll roll a 1 and hope to. there's there's like lightning, there's the earthquake, there's so many different things. Look, meteor. Boom, he's going to take 10 damage and die. So there's, there's so many amazing things that the that book has so we, we prioritize that so this is why I play <laughs> this is why I prioritized using control on her um, that's a lot of points um, because she's so situational with her hero skill 2 and then even when I put up the hero skill th uh, th uh, 3 um, uh, cannonade you saw that she she shot more cannons, and it added extra shots, but none of them hit them. So her her hero skill 2 and her hero skill 3 didn't do nothing in that match at all. The only thing that did something was her hero skill 1. <laughs> so, like, people are, might argue, like, why not just max this? Yeah, true, true. You can, or you can use dice cards, like I told you. You could, like, hear, like, like, um, you can add cards in your deck that, um... You can add... Uh, I like to always do it the opposite way. The opposite way, please. Thank you. I like to see high for You know, like high amount first. Or deck. Yeah, you know, like good deck. Like I like to see it like this. Yeah, it's way better because you can see all the cards. Um, you could do like the high gold, like I said. You can do, you know, low gold. You can do a shop. I definitely want to try out a more gold-oriented version of the deck. But I feel like without certain cards down here... I feel like it's a little bit limited. If I had more, if I had more debt, uh, more dice cards to add into the deck and create, and, and if I had the the ice tower base, um, if I had glacial tower to five, I honestly think, I honestly think, or even breezy bastion to five, like this can actually be used. Like if you move them towards your base, right? You if you land on your base, you can move them closer to your base. And do other stuff, but it's, it's like it's like pulling them away because they're trying to they're trying not to they're trying not to be on the opposite line. Because if your base is here, their base is here. If you pull them, if you pull them upwards towards your base, then all you have to do is move forward, and then they're on the opposite line. But I honestly think it, this is this is super situational. You want to either go glacial tower, coffin, um, extended long, long, long fights. You want to go cathedral, uh, eternal elm. And if you want to go in gold mine, of course. Uh, but if you want fast, like fast games, you could go tactical tent, and basically that, like how I told you, uh, based on her AP. So you would just get attack cards. You would just use gold attack. You would use um, ice blade. You'd use, you know, you yeah. So you would do that. Let me just get my reward. Um. So yeah, yeah, Daikaisis, that's my, um, you know playthrough and uh, I'll play a little bit more I have to get more um I have to get more like uh, equipment up get more here I have a, a lot of equipment I just don't have the hero shards so yeah um king king cat this cat is always trying to get you with stuff look at this he's like 10,000 gold wait that's a, wait that's not 10,000 that's a hundred thousand gold Jesus but who's gonna really like 30 80 percent off I don't think it's 80 percent off it's more like 20 percent off <laughs> 
That's crazy, though. Um, but anyways, yeah, diecasters, thank you for watching this diecast video, and I will see you in the next one where I play. I'm gonna play her a little bit more, you know, see see if I can do different variations. I'm gonna try a different variation, see how that works. If it doesn't, well, good luck on your pirate shellings, <laughs> and hope it lands because I've only seen one land so far, like one specific one. Maybe it's maybe it's positioning. Maybe there's such a more, but they should be a little bit more specific in the text because man, a lot of their texts with a lot of heroes, man, <laughs> it's like you have to like do like <laughs> math and like you have to like break it down, you have to pull up, you have to pull yourself like a book, you know, you have to pull up a book and you have to like, huh, wait, what does it mean? <laughs> but yeah, I guess I'll see you later.